them why we're going to Ohio, like how we came up with the idea oh, to go. So we were watching this, um, well, Raheem was watching this documentary called, what was the name of it? I don't even know. I, I it don't was know. a strong man, it was with the strong man competition. Yeah, it had something to do with like extreme weightlifting. And on Netflix. On Netflix. And I just happened to be watching it and with him. And um, I was like, it's in Ohio, why don't we, why don't we see if we can go? And our motto this year has been, you know, um, we, we want to be doers. We want to do as much as we can do. And so this year it's not so much about what we can give each other in terms of um, like tangible items, but we want to really focus on doing, on living in the moment, on experiencing things and being part of the experience. So. All right, y'all, it is 1.41 p.m., approximately two hours later, we're making our first pit stop. Narcoleptic Keisha over there has been sleeping for like the last 30 minutes. Here, give me some room. Some room, cuz? Give me some room so I can reach you. Finally made it. It's about 6:40 when we hit the hotel. And the day one, we're gonna get something to eat. And there's a rooftop um, restaurant too, if you want to go to there. Okay. Okay. walking around.
guys, we so we got to the expo around 12:20. No. Yeah, we got to the expo around 12 o'clock. And as y'all just saw, it was crowded, like ridiculously crowded. Very crowded. To the point where we were uh, on the we were, we were upset on how crowded it was because it just was not fun. It wasn't enjoyable. It was just so many people. A lot of people were just standing in the middle of the floor, just one spot, and wouldn't move their feet. Agreed. And it was, a, it was just a wave of people that were trying to move an equal amount of people that weren't moving for whatever reason. So once we made it to like the opposite end of the convention center, then it opened up and we kind of found the thoroughfares or the thoroughways or what do you call them? Is it thoroughfare? Thoroughfare. We kind of found the thoroughfares mm -hmm. that are best for navigating the exhibition, which is basically on the outside. Yep. If you stick to the outside, if you want to get someplace Go to use the outside part first, and then you can cut in the middle. So that was pretty cool. Um, once we found that, it, it was just a different experience. Um, so I actually said I wasn't going to stand in line for anybody. I wasn't really there to take pictures and meet people, but I ended up um, taking a couple of pictures, as um, you probably just saw. We saw Danny Hadea. No, Danny Hester. Dan Hester, we saw, uh, took a picture of him. The guy, Nick, he plays the Incredible Hawk for like sick kids. And, uh, oh, saw Big Zach. Been texting Zach back and forth all morning trying to catch up with him. As we were walking away from Zach, I got tapped on the shoulder from Vic. Vic, yeah. Guy named Vic, who uh, is affiliated with Mac. He knows Mac and, and Marquise. Uh, too, yeah. and Marquise. And uh, Team 18 Wheelers, he, and, and he tapped me on the shoulder and was like, hey, that shirt looks familiar. What do you say? Something like that shirt looks familiar. Or aren't you the guy that makes the, the videos with with yourself? Yeah, he yeah. recognized the first good. video I did with the whole twins and the uh, Mack Truck Strength Cartel and Live for the Moment shirts. He remembered yeah. that video on YouTube. And we got to talking. Another really cool dude. So shout out to Vic. Uh, yeah. Saw the pole girls. Oh yeah, pole dancers, pole, pole whatever fitness. they are. Yeah, that's what they call it. And uh, it was awesome. So, 2005, 2006, 2008, 2013, and 2015, the Blade, Dexter Jackson. Thank you. Thank you. 2009, 2010, 2016, Kai Green. Oh. Yeah, it's better watching it on this. A Lionel switch. It might be the Dexter oh. or William. Oh. Gotta get some pose down. The rest of you guys just gotta stand there and wait.
votes on strongest man it's uh i feel amazing you know fifty thousand dollars for finishing I, I, third I think you're right. cedric mcmillan oh, wow. and the winner of seventy five thousand dollars in second place dexter jackson <laughs> All right, guys, it is 11.15 on Sunday. So we're just getting our stuff ready. We're going to actually stop at the Rogue uh, retail store first since they're based in Ohio. I think, you know, makes sense to stop there, see what they have for us garage gym gorillas and those who like to buy our own equipment. <laughs> what was your highlight of yesterday? The strongman competition, absolutely. Yeah, Seeing strongman was cool. All the other guys. Brian Shaw. Brian Shaw, um, trying to lift 400 pounds. Yeah. And also, I like the, um, what was that competition that the, the guy from the Netherlands won? What was that called? Oh, the uh, Arnold Classic. The Arnold Classic. The uh, bodybuilding. The bodybuilding. That yeah. was good too. Yeah. to head back home we got two hours and 30 minutes left so that's it y'all barring anything else that changes um how would you rate the expo ah uh, 4.5 out of five four and a half out of five yeah. yeah i would say probably between four and four and a half only because that final um the, the final the night of the finals the line was just the, the oh. way it worked to get in was just ridiculous and, it, and that took a lot out of it even though we didn't miss anything, mm -hmm. um, waiting well, we don't on. know what we missed. It started well, yeah. at seven and we got in yeah. like 7.25-ish. Yeah. So. But we didn't miss any of the events though. No. Everything, so the guy was, I mean, whoever was, matter of fact, we missed Arnold, Arnold talking. Yeah, yeah, when we came in, Arnold just finished talking. So that was it, but, so thanks for watching. Until next time, peace, love, air grease, we out of here.